Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. New messages, Commander. Oh, new messages. Awesome, let's, let's take a look. Omega, it's time. Oh yeah, the Omega DLC. Um, Aria Talok, it's time. Shepard, I'm ready to discuss that pet project I mentioned when we spoke in Purgatory. Come to Dock 42 on the Citadel. A uh, Batarian named Bray will be awaiting. Uh, yeah, I'll do that mission, but probably not tonight. I think that's a pretty hard one, so I think I'm going to save it. Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems, but thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper Invasion Front oh. will hit them soon. Holy shit! Every I, damn, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting blowed up with with quests here. Grissom Academy, yeah, that's um. Hmm. I'm, I'm actually kind of worried about the timing because I know it was that there is one mission that involves a bomb and that if you wait too long, you'll actually end up missing out on the mission because the bomb will go off. I don't want this to be the same. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project helps gifted young biotics. If it had been open 20 years ago, I bet you'd have been there. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Uh, Some yeah. of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. I'd like to help them. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian uh, signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy is being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Nice work. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer. Good catch. Thank you, Commander. <laughs> that might be the next thing I go for. If, that case. if there's no other... If there's no other mission that at least has the illusion of being time-sensitive, I might, I might do that first. Yo! Ah, what's Hello, up, Edie? Shepherd. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting mm. to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions. Oh, me too. If I could accompany you sometime. Yep. Without Next mission. testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should <laughs> speak privately. Check it out. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's Joker. this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. <laughs> Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Uh, hmm. D do you believe your crew members? I expect good judgment. Uh, I make that calculation. Make good, but hmm. I make good. Uh, I expect good judgment. Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. Oh. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. 
He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Yeah, definitely. Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Neat. Neat. It's fun to have a... It's fun to have a robot on... as part of the crew. Hey, Se I know I used to rag on Garrus robot. for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there and needs a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. <laughs> of course. Of course, yes. Okay, is there anybody else I can talk to here? Uh, Specialist Trainer, ED Joker, Primark Victus. Uh, hmm. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'll give Victus another chat. Just in case he's got something to say. He might not. He's a good guy. He'll get his people moving in the right direction. He's a good guy with his homeworld on fire. All he committed to is this war summit. A war summit we have to host since the Solarians won't even let a Krogan onto one of their ships. I gotta wonder why this it, it, scanner is here. Like, I mean... I mean, I know that it's a thinly veiled loading sequence, but I gotta wonder why... Why does it have to load so much for this room? And even at that, what's the scanner supposed to do? Like, story-wise, what's it supposed to do? Why is it scanning me each and every time? Oh, I suppose to make sure that I'm not indoctrinated, perhaps. Yes, Commander? Uh, turn it Oh, I guess there's nothing to say. That's all. Of course, Commander. All right, on to the next levels. I do want to hurry. I want to... At least, uh, at least get the whole crew talked to. Hello. At least get the whole crew talked to before, um, uh, before the end of this episode. Let's see, Captain's Cabin. Um, oh, I don't think I've gone to the Captain's Cabin before. Let me go up there. Oh, and then I can change my armor, too. I imagine there's probably something useful here. Hmm. Okay, so let's... Oh, you can do... Oh, you can do multiple armor sets. How did I never notice that? Oh, oh, the, oh I see. These ones are just pre-built sets and this is... This is one that I customized. Oh, okay. Okay, so all this is... Okay, shoulders. Um, wait, does it... Oh, they do. It does make them look different. Okay, so what do I get in return? Okay, so I get weapon damage and headshot boost, but I lose health. Okay, nope. See, this this is kind of the problem. I don't like that there's a drawback in the armor. Like, there, there's certain things that get drawn back because then it, it makes me... Like, like, those look way cooler. But, I mean, if it means I have less health, I don't want it. Forget that. Actually, I'm going to change my casual appearance, too. Yeah, I'll change it to the hoodie. <laughs> yeah, if I'm... Yeah, if I'm in the middle of the war, I'm going to be as casual as possible. <laughs> uh, private terminal... Um, Oh, the little model actually spins. Neat. Okay. Alright, I guess there wasn't much useful up here. Okay. So, crew deck. Uh, yeah, we'll talk to everybody here. Actually, note to self, I think I just saw something funny, funny on my monitor just before I stepped into the cabin. It looks like... It looked like the recording may have glitched a little bit. I'll have to check that. Just 
just make sure that the, any gaps or anything. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, there's e, there's uh, there's Doctor Chalk was, and of course there's Garrus. Oh, Doctor Chalk was Garrus and Liara. Okay. That was weird. Thor didn't make any sound. It's nice to see Leara again. Oh, that's it? I actually missed this place. <laughs> oh, is that... Is that supposed to be a paladin? Hmm. Oh, jeez, maybe if that's the case, maybe Leara... Maybe Leara... Bleh, maybe Leara doesn't have anything to say either. Hmm. My door isn't making any sounds. Why do my doors not make sense? To see you. Something on your mind? Just old memories. I spent a few weeks on Palavin South Peaks when I was very, very young. A Turian there teased me a little, saying that the mountains went on forever. I remember believing him. When I looked up at Palavin from its moon, I saw those same mountains burning. Wow. Okay, upgrades available. No, no upgrades. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't read any of these yet. Maybe if there's too many of them. Uh, uh, okay. Alliance Interrogation Record. Cerberus Operative. Um, Alliance Interrogator. Ugh. Check out these implants. She's got... She's got jammed into her face. Oh. <laughs> interrogator number two. Shh. She's awake. Cer Cerberus Operative. Unintelligible. AI, t AI2. Hello. Do you know where you are? CO unintelligible. Uh, AI one. You know how much goddamn trouble you're in. Wait. Oh, AI is uh, is not AI like artificial intelligence. It's Alliance interrogator. Oh, okay. You know how much goddamn trouble you're in. Hey, ease up. Listen, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. I'm not going to lie, but that doesn't mean we can't work something out. If you help us, we can <laughs> explosion. Uh, and then if AI went, <coughs> you okay? I'm okay, but <coughs> but holy hell, she's dead. What? But oh wait, that's not how I scroll down. The whole front of her face is gone. Some kind of ocular flashbang. Well, shit. Is everyone in Cerberus rigged up like that? Man, that's fucked. These are just her whole fucking ex face exploded just in the middle. Oh my god. That's fucked up, dude. Prothean notes from 2171 to 2185. Glyph, remind me to clean up these old notes. Perhaps review them. Uh, perhaps reviewing them will lead to something useful for the Prothean device. Uh, 2171. The Prothean University. Uh, sorry, it doesn't say that. <laughs> the University of Cerise agreed to sponsor me at the Prothean Dig in on uh, Dreetrop. Very exciting. Professor Hamel uh, is le heading the expedition herself. Maybe I can even ask her for her opinion on my thesis outline. Attachment uh, thesis uh, Promethean First Contact Protocols. 2174. I believe doc, uh, Dr. Joshuan uh, was right to suggest that the Prothean artifacts uh, we unearthed are from the Third Age, not the Fourth. What an embarrassing mistake. At least he seemed to approve of the rest of the paper. Attachment paper of a, com a comparison of Prothean technology to modern Asari circuit, uh, circuit logic. Okay, 2183. Uh, part 1. I'm, a, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going on uh, the Therum exp expedition. Oh, is that where I found her? I never thought I'd gain permission to visit the Prothean ruins there, but the University of Cerise must have uh, secured the funding after all. Now to pack. Attachment of uh, paper on the end of Prothean Empire. Part 2. Goodness, this human shepherd... Okay, yeah, that is where I met her then. Goodness, this human shepherd uh, has the key to comprehending uh, the Protheans on an inst instinctual subconscious level if only i could have been there when the commander touched the beacon on eden prime i'll try to learn more about the cipher on board the normandy 
the involvement of the Reapers is uh, troubling, to say the least. Attachment. Uh, paper on the end of Prothean Empire with uh, correction notes. 2185. Uh, I reviewed the old Shadow Brokers uh, footage of the Collectors. It's chilling to know that they're Prothean, uh, Protheans husks. Uh, uh, the, la the least... Uh, sorry, at least nothing sentient uh, could possibly remain after what the Reapers did to them. Uh, attachment. Uh, paper on Prothean Biology. Okay. Uh, what are we doing for time? Okay. Uh, Prothean notes. Uh, there's only a few more notes. I'll just read through them. Uh, the things this Prothean must have seen, if they had the technology to preserve someone for, uh, for over 50,000 years, no wonder they were capable of building things like the device on Mars. I must have given him time to get his bearings, but goodness, when will we get another... Uh, oh, sorry. I must give him time to get the, his bearings, but goddess, when will we get another chance to learn so much about their civilization? Uh, attach notes on Prothean. Uh, 2186, entry 2. I'm not sure what to make of Javik. I approached him while we were traveling to a different system, but he wasn't very inclined to talk. What little he does say concerns the Reapers and our possible failure. Is he simply a soldier mourning his people, or a fundament, or is it a fundamental difference in our cultures? Yeah, I mean, I think I would have preferred if Javik wasn't just another badass or just another soldier. Like, if he was more of a Morden type, I think that probably would have made things a bit more interesting and, you know, could have provided some more insight on the Protheans, but I don't know. Um, message from Operative uh, Farron to the Broker. I made contact with Tazik yesterday. Oh, I think I killed him. He's like a—he's actually a freakishly big um, um, Salarian. Um, or maybe that's somebody else. I don't know. Uh, the look on his face was priceless. He's not happy you put me in charge of scouting the Terminus systems, but he's uh, doing good, a good job of keeping us alive. I've never seen so many pirates and uh, mercs on the edge. The black market's unreliable, and it's getting harder to make contact with suppliers. The Alliance won't be able uh, to rely on it as a source of crucible materials for a, uh, for long if things get worse. Some of the other operatives uh, think that uh, we should cut our losses now, but I just keep asking them, when, do, when did the odds ever stop the Shadow Broker? Farron. P.S. I hope you finally got our little friend Dro Droney to stop saying shadow and broker uh, out loud in the same sentence <laughs> uh, to anyone in sight. Okay, so let's see. Okay, this episode's running on a little long, but let's see if we could just wrap up the last bit of dialogue down in the other two levels. Whoopsies. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to go down to engineering and then the shuttle bay. I might cut these loading sequences just to speed things up. Okay, let's see. Uh, right, there isn't anybody down here. Um... Diana Allers. Um, I'll check to see if she's got anything new. I doubt she has anything, but well, let's give it a quick check. I have to ask, do you oh. all war reporters look so um, feminine? I mean, <laughs> you're made up so well. We actually have a research department for that. They focus test looks, voice, manner. Apparently, girly is good. Sorry, pay more attention. Salarians relate to high-pitched voices. And Turians? Turians are nuts. A civilization of war nerds. Loyal viewers, but they write the creepiest fan mail. <laughs> Uzmik was that. She has got some curves. Wait, who? Was she talking about Trainer? Do we need to talk, Commander? Um, no, carry on. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Okay, all right, I guess that's it. Uh, 
Um, wait, who else? Who else? Oh yeah, Javik. Okay, I guess the Javik is the only other person I can really talk to on here. Um, he probably doesn't have a whole lot to say. That's fine. I am feeling better, Commander. I stand yes. ready. We called them collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones he encountered. They were all indoctrinated, and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. Do not be concerned about me. The years in stasis have only made me hungrier to fight the Reapers. Fair enough. Alright, in that case, on to the lower levels. Shuttle bay. Okay, and then we'll... And after this, we'll just move on to the next mission, which... Yeah, might be Grissom Academy, which... who, Not looking forward to certain parts of that. That's a pretty hard mission. I, oh! Steve's over here now. Steve! What's up, Steve? Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double-checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry. This bird's been rock solid. Uh, do you ever rest? I always see you down here working your ass out. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about hmm. your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise... Well, too much time to think. All right, don't work too hard. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jack. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there were views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Actually, give you the chance to, to, to romance him, but... Uh, uh, it's your choice, or that's an order? Hmm. Nah, I'll let it be his choice. Do what you need, but it might help. I'll think about it. Thanks. All right, and then James. I, wait, why am I stuck? <laughs> wait, is James? Oh no, James is there. That Primarch's got some real cojones. What we need are more politicians like him, taking names and kicking ass. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> hey, that's all you got? Hey. Hey. <laughs> all, right. all right. Well, if that's uh, that's it for this session of crew talk, so now let's, uh, let's go whoop some ass ourselves. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.